And you might end up with a hell of a mess, but you've had a great time. Creative experience is part of the general human experience. It gives a lift to people who are very much isolated by their own disease. The program's been going for over 25, 26 years now. It was founded by Nancy Tingey. She was a practicing artist and she wanted to investigate the possibility that a creative immersion in a creative um, experience could actually act as a, a very potent um, way of dealing with the Parkinson's condition. They give me hope that there's fun in the world. They're, they're very uplifting and I have friends in the group who understand Parkinson's and we can have a joke about it or vent or swear and the painting is wonderful. Occasionally we do something that we think that's not half bad which is really uplifting. evolved a manual um, and we've also evolved exhibitions which we want to take to regional centres and expose to the possibilities of establishing programs of their own um, and break down that isolation that a lot of people with Parkinson's feel. We have had visits in the past from a community at Wagga that came down and observed and they went back and set up a group there and Roberta and Nancy and I went there to their first exhibition. We start the session by doing exercise and this brings the focus into the space. We use the Tingy method to encourage a state of flow. It could be described as a moving meditation, a conversation between the painter, the page, and the organic movement of the paint on the wet paper. And it's this, going within oneself, working silently, that allows the focus on doing and making to take the mind away from thinking about the Parkinson's. And it was only the second week I'd come and I was really shaky, but then when we got our art paper given to us and the paints were there, I just started going off in a really deep sensation inside. And I could just feel myself letting go and focusing on just the music and going with that. Uh, I've and then I stop shaking. It goes, it just goes, that horrible feeling of anxiety that Parkinson's people often, often suffer from. Sometimes, you know, people come in, they're using uh, walkers, walking sticks, uh, being assisted to come in, and often after the session, they'll work, walk quite freely. Um, out of the session, so there's kind of evidence of the, how the, the program has enabled them. That just lifts my heart totally. When those things happen, it just you don't forget. Nancy's book is called Magic Happens, and that's what I see. We've done the workbook uh, to help other people as they stay and work with each other, they get to know each other and um, we don't usually talk about Parkinson's except when the group share their own experiences with each other. Um, and I think that's a really positive um, element of the, whole, of the whole system. For anyone interested in establishing a painting group for people with Parkinson's condition, the structure of the session is set out in the manual, How Magic Happens, written by Ian Bignall. I'm really happy to be a facilitator in this program. <laughs> it's fun, we laugh a lot, yeah.